Hi everyone, it's Joa with Special Heart Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to use textures such as a grun or a wood grain um, with both Cricut Design Space and Silhouette Studio. I have created six different textures for you to add fun elements to your own designs or even an SVG that you have purchased or downloaded um, from the internet free that you could add these to to really make a make a design your own and and show some of your own character. Um, so here I have just typed out hello in Uncle Grump. It's one of my favorite wider fonts. Um, so you'll want to make sure when you're using a font to always weld. Um, it doesn't matter as much in this case since it's not a script prompt, but it's a habit that is um, good good to get in just so that when you do use script font that the letters all connect. Um, so then these are the six grunge patterns that um, I have available free on my, on my website. There are three different what I labeled grunge starting with one, two, and three. They get a little more detailed. Um, I have a wood grain stump and then just a regular wood grain and a crackle, like a cracked earth type um, texture. So I'm just going to pick the, the most complicated um, grunge effect. The one thing you'll want to remember when you do these uh, and use them that the more detail, um, the harder and the more that you'll have to work to weed, weed the design. Um, and the longer it will take to cut also. These, you, it really doesn't matter if you distort them, you know, um, move them around how you want. I usually change them to white so that I can step back and see what it, what'll, how it'll look on the word um, or the, the shape that I'm doing. So I've changed this to white. Um, I like how it looks there. So I've got it. The, the grunge effect on top of the text. And then I'm simply going to select both of these and click slice. Uh, that breaks all of this up into pieces. So you can grab this and you'll want to delete it. Um, here again, the, the, the white pieces are there that are, were on top of the letters. You'll want to delete those. And then there's one more set of the red cutouts. Um, so here we're left with our word that's now in a grunge effect. So this, this one's a little bit harder to read. This may have been an example that I should have used um, the grunge one or grunge two, not quite as many. It's still readable, but right here with the E, there's quite a bit cut out. So if you're not happy with it, you could, have, of course, always undo um, and, and pick maybe a more simple grunge or make it bigger so that it's not subtracting out too much of the letter. Uh, I'm going to delete this. Moving on to how to use the textures with a multicolor design. Um, it's a little bit different, another couple steps that we have to take. Um, so here I've uploaded my wood grain design and a circle that has four different colors. Um, I'll include this circle in the download just so if you'd like to to practice um, with a multicolor design, it'll be easy, easily available. Here again, I'm going to change the wood to white so that I can see what the end result will be, um, you know, what it would look like and move these how I would want to see them. Um, I think I like it right there. So because I have four different colors, I need to make four copies of my wood design. You, you can only slice two things at a time. So each time will be your texture and whatever color um, and shape that we're, we're slicing. So we are going to select all the wood grain and stack them all on top of each other so that it's um, in the same spot so that our design looks cohesive. So now that I have those stacked, I like to hide 
um, the, the ones that I'm not working with so that I only have one wood grain and then one color that I'm using. So I'll select the wood grain, select the first color that I need to, to work with and click slice. And just like in the, when I did the text with the single color, we need to get rid of the pieces that we don't want to use. So we'll get rid of that, those extra cut lines. Um, if, you, if you're not sure when you get down here, you can always move them out. There's the extra white pieces. And then this is going to be the extra pink. And then we will unhide another piece of wood, the wood texture, and I'll select the green this time. I, I shift, held shift down and picked the green and then we'll click slice. We'll come up here, delete the extra pieces so that we're left with just the green. Okay, we'll unhide another um, texture of the wood grain. We'll click the yellow since it's next down there on the list. Click slice. And once again, come up here and delete the remnants. And one last time, we'll unhide this last piece of wood grain. Shift click to select the blue and click slice. And we'll come up here and once again, delete our extra pieces. And now we have the circle with the wood grain all cut out. Um, once again, remember the more detailed that your grunge or pattern texture that you're slicing out of the design, the longer it will take to cut and it could be um, more difficult to weed also. So some of these little tiny pieces could, could get a little tricky depending how small they are. Moving on to Silhouette Studio. It's a little bit easier um, in Studio to do this because uh, they will allow multiple sections to be sliced at one time. So the terminology is a little bit different, but just like we did in Cricut Design Space, you can um, have your text, put your grunge where you would like to see it over the text. Um, here again, you can change the color to white since most people work on a white background. It, it's, I feel it's easier to see that way. Um, let's change this to white so I can see it. There we go. Um, and you can make it smaller. You can make the grunge pieces, the grunge texture bigger. Uh, you know, depending how much you want to weed and, and what that look that you're going for. Um, once you have it where you would like to see it, you can select all of it, come up to Object, Modify, and Subtract. And that gets rid of all of the uh, extra pieces and all you have left is the, the text that you, with the grunge pieces already subtracted out. That's it. You can click Send, send it off to your machine. Um, I'll show you the multicolor example as we did in design space. I have the wood grain here. Um, I mentioned studio is a little bit easier in this aspect because you can cut all these at once. So you don't need to duplicate as we did um, with the Cricut. So here again, I like to change it to white so I see what the end result will look like. Um, like the little swirly over here. So we'll lead, we'll do it that way. Select both of the items on my mat, come up to object, modify, and subtract. Takes a minute and there we go. We have our design has now been put into shapes, but you can always uh, group it together again. Um, and there's our circle with the wood grain in in it now and you could cut it with HGV or adhesive vinyl, whatever you want to do with these. I hope this tutorial helped. Um, these six textures that I've created are available free on my website at specialheartstudio.com. Um, please feel free to drop a comment 
If you have any questions, um, you can leave comments here in YouTube or um, join my Facebook group also. Thanks everyone, have a great day.